हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल फॉर सच मोर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्यूशंस नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट एक्सप्रेस द गिवन फोर्स दैट इज 900 पाउंड फोर्स एज अ वेक्टर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द यूनिट वेक्टर्स आई जे एंड के एंड फर्दर वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दिस फोर्स ऑन टू द वाई एक्सिस इज राइट so this force is acting from this point a to b right the line of action of this force is passing through this a and b and the coordinates of point a and b are given so now to find this force vector so force vector will be equal to the force magnitude and the unit vector from a to b right so we will write the magnitude is 900 and the unit vector ab is a b vector divided by a b magnitude and this will be equal to 900 and a b right so we will subtract the coordinates of a from b right so we will write 60 minus minus 45 right so this is minus 40 a 48 and this is along the i direction right this is the x coordinate similarly we will write plus and then we will write 30 we will subtract this coordinate of a from b so 30 minus minus 25 and this is j right this is the j coordinate this is the y coordinate so i will write then i will write plus and this will be 40 minus 20 and this is along k right and then we will find the magnitude of this ab right so this is 60 plus 48 right so if we simplify this so then this is 60 plus 48 and this is 30 plus 25 and this is 40 minus 20 right so 60 plus 48 is 108 right so we can write that this is 108 i similarly this is 55 30 plus 25 is 55 and this is 20 right so this is that ab vector right so we can write it like this and now we can find the magnitude of this so what will be the magnitude of this so we will take square of each component so 108 square plus 55 square plus 20 square and then we will take the square root okay so now when we solve this magnitude so the magnitude is 122.84 so now when we divide all of these components by 122.84 and then multiply with this 900 right so this is that f vector in terms of i j and k and further in this problem we are required to determine the projection of this force on to the y axis is right so as we know that the projection we can find the projection by taking the dot product of this force right so if we want to find the projection of this force along y so then we can write that this f we will take the dot product right and this will always gives us the magnitude right this dot product since dot product is a scalar quantity right so this is f dot and the projection is along the y axis so we will take the dot product with j vector right that is the unit vector j so we will write it like this So this way, this is seven ninety one i plus four hundred and three j plus one forty six k dot j. Right. So i dot j is zero. So when we multiply this with j, so this will become zero. Four hundred and three j dot j is always one. Right. So we will write four hundred and three, and then. if we multiply this so then this will be 146k dot j is again zero right so this is 403 pounds right so simply this is the the component of this force along y axis is is the y component of this force right so we can write that this is the fy magnitude right so fy magnitude is 403 pounds and this is that vector So this is the solution of this particular problem